Hey guys, Animal Man here. I'm just going to do a, a quick video of us using quail eggs to make breakfast. So, um, quail eggs are a little different than chicken eggs. Chicken eggs have a thick shell and a very thin membrane. They're very easy to crack because of that and not get the eggshells in what, you know, what you're what you're trying to put them in and you're cooking. Quail eggs are a little bit different. They have a very, very thin uh, crumbly shell and a very thick membrane so it makes it a pain in the butt when you want to crack them because the shells kind of crumble in everywhere and get in uh, where you don't want them. So I've been kind of playing around over the last, uh, how long have we had birds for? I don't know, a year? Yeah. A year and a half or something? Yeah. And what Shannon does it differently than I do. But the way I come, what I've come up with with is I crack them just to get a little spot with uh, with the cracked shell and then I'll scrape it off you can see the membrane there so I scrape the shell off the membrane in that one little spot and then what I'll do is if you zoom in over here to show what I'm doing I'll just pinch it gently because if you do it as we found out a minute ago if you, if you do it too hard it'll squirt across the room <laughs> and I'll pinch it open just a little spot about the size of a dime and then I just go, boom, right in the bowl. And you basically get almost no shells in there. And then this goes in this bowl to head to the composter. So that's what I've been doing. I started out with a 71 or 72 eggs in here. And I've done about half of them. It's taken me about 10 minutes. And some of this will be for making scrambled eggs. We're actually making egg sandwiches this morning. And then some of this we're going to freeze. And... Uh, We've been putting, what did you say, Shannon, 12? Mm -hmm. 12? 12 eggs worth in one breast milk bag to freeze because about, uh, how many of these? Four of these equal four. one chicken egg? Mm -hmm. About four quail eggs equal the volume of one chicken egg. So we figured that if we put 12 in a breast milk bag, that's like having three eggs worth, and that's that's a meal for, for one person. Do you want to grab one out of the freezer and... Yeah, I'll show them. Let me just wash my hands. So Shannon just fished this out of the freezer. This is what I was talking about. This is a breast milk bag, which is designed to freeze liquids. And it's got the double seal, the ends of it, you know, the corners are reinforced. It's much better than using a Ziploc, even a Ziploc freezer bag. And we've got 12, 12 quail eggs in there. And the cool thing is, it's so small and thin, if you just thaw it out on the counter or in some warm water, it thaws out super quick. And you probably could date them as a thing for the date on the top, but we don't bother because we use them so often. One more thing I just thought I'd mention, because it's so likely for you to get the eggshells crumbling into here. This is a trick that I learned in home ec in high school. Me and a class of a bunch of girls, I was the only guy in there, but it was awesome. Um, the eggs, eggshells stick to other eggshells, so if you get little bits in there, you grab a bigger one, and you just kind of like scoop it right up with it. I'm doing this one-handed, trying to look at the camera, too. But anyway, they stick to it. Whereas if you use your fingers, they kind of just wiggle away from you and swim around there, and it's a pain in the butt. Here's another little one right, right in there I got pretty easily. So that's the trick. And here's another one. Boop, scoop it right up. One final tip for you guys. If you're making, like, scrambled eggs, got the pan almost all heated up here. You scramble them. And all the little pieces of shells that are left over in there, they sink to the bottom. So you have to be very, very careful. I've got to put this in. Oh, now it's on my hand, man. you got to just be very careful pouring this in there. Oh, yeah! And there'll be any little shells. See, there they are. It's just a few. Just a few. They sink on the bottom. So, that's the trick. All right, happy cooking. Hope you guys found this useful and helpful. Faster! Faster! Salt me, baby! All right, back away from the counter. Crazy lady. Cooking with Matt and Shannon. Now, one more trick is... <laughs> Tell him the trick. Don't kick me. What's the what's the trick? <laughs> <laughs> no. Hell. 
I've got no hands to defend myself. I just pinched your butt very gently. Yeah, well, two seconds ago, she stuck her finger in my butt crack. Because you like it. 